hello and welcome back to Creative Connor. Today's video will be showing you a demo of the Crafters Companion box number 57, pop of vase. Um, go check out my unboxing. It will be in the I cards above on the right hand side. But this is showing you how to assemble, put together the vase pop-up vase with the flowers so this is it and then you just uh it come you can lay it flat in order to put it into the envelope but then when it's open it pops up and you have a beautiful vase with pretty flowers how cute is that and this one i use the sentiment butterfly wishes and flower petal kisses and I have my flowers here and all my flowers have uh, the pearls that came with the kit and I just think this is so cute so this is how it looks I used a bow to embellish the sentiment and then it pops up and you have your flowers and I think this is so cute. So this is what I'm going to show you how to make from the kit. Okay, so the first, first things first, what you need is <clears throat> the color card stock of your vase, whatever color your vase is going to be. And that is <clears throat> and the papers are provided for you in the kit. Um, so what you would do next is use the plastic stencil to trace your template. And on the template, it tells you how many pieces you would need for the template and for the pop-up box insert and let me show you this up close see right here it says cut two so you would need two of the pop-up box template and right here it says cut four you would need four pieces of the pop-up box insert and i've already started tracing and i will trace one more of the template on camera so let me do that i am using a mechanical pencil to trace so you just want to trace in between the the lines here and it also tells you where to score and where to glue so all you have to do is just trace in between these lines and you have your template and i need to do one more of the pop-up insert so say if you mass producing this you will do all of your templates first get them traced cut and scored you know forever how many you're making do that and cut those out and have them prepared if you will be mass producing so okay so I've done that here so I can put my template aside and here are the pieces so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut out the template the box template and I'm gonna cut out the pop-up box inserts and I will be right back I am back and I have cut out all my pieces which is the the box template and the pop-up insert 
So here everything cut out. I cut and scored and I folded on the score line. And here are the pop-up inserts. I cut those out and you have four of those. Okay, so now we are ready to glue both of our panels together. So there's a little tab on both on both templates, but you only want one tab. You got a tab here on this one and a tab here on that one. But you wanna you take this tab and glue it on the back end of your other template. So I'm getting ready to do that. Now I'm just gonna take my liquid glue and adhere that on. So you wanna glue one tab to the back end of the other template that you traced and cut. And you wanna make sure it's bumped up to that line like this. So once you attach it, it should look like this. Just one long piece. Okay, so once you have that on, you want to adhere your panels. So that's the lines that you scored. You have your panels here and you have eight in total. So each panel piece here measures one by three inches. So, so you want your pattern paper layer piece to measure seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And you would need eight of those. So I have four to show you on camera. And then the other four I will do off camera. So these pieces measure seven eighths by two and seven eighths. So you want to do this before you adhere that other tab to the other end of your template. So you want to put on your layers first. Okay, I'm going to glue this last one on and I will do the rest and come back for the next step. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far when you adhere your pattern paper panels. So let me go ahead and finish the other four and I will be back with the next step. Okay, so now that all your eight panels are on, we are ready to attach this flap to the back of this one. So you just bring it around and glue. Glue that together. So let's do that now. So I'm going to add glue to this flap and 
and we just want to attach it to that flap. And you have the outer part of your vase done. Uh, don't worry about that part. I was trying something because I think what I'm going to do is on my next one I make, I want to put a greeting on the outside. Instead of making uh, putting panels, I think I want to put a greeting. So this was just a little test test run I was doing. So if you see that on the inside, just ignore it. But now that your vase is adhered, we are ready to add the inserts. Okay, so now we are ready to add our insert, our four pieces. Inserts here, I have them here. It's four of them. So, okay, so for the inserts, what I do is I glue the insert back backings together. So you would take your four inserts and glue them one side to the other side. So I will glue this side to that side here. And that just helps me to insert it into the vase. So let me do that now. I just I'm just gonna take a little glue. And I'm going to glue one side to the other side. Okay, and I'm going to do that to the other one. Glue this side to that side. And I'm going to glue this last one in between this side here. So it's going to go right in between. I'm just going to glue one side. Only one side. Okay, so your inserts should look like this. Okay, so when you have, have them glued together, you want to take your end flaps and you want to push them outward. So each flap will be on the outer side like this, just this part here. So do that to all four sides. Make sure they are on the outer side. And they should look like this. just like this okay 
Well, let me go ahead and yeah, I forgot to do. Let me glue this side because this side need to be glued as well. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, yeah. So once you have all that glue, you just want your pieces to look like this. So this should be the end result after you have glued them together. Okay, so when that is done, you are ready to adhere it on the inside of your vase. And to do that, you want these two pieces to go in between the score line. So like this score line here, you will have it in between the score line when you get ready to, to glue your flaps. And you would do that for the other ones as well. It will be in between the score line. So let me glue one so I can give you a better view. So I'm going to add glue to the sides of the little flaps. Well, do that for all of them because it'll be easier. That's the only way you can add the glue. So you got to add glue to all the little flaps. So. Okay, and you will have to adhere them in between each score line. Okay, let me do the other one. You want it in between the score line, not on the score line. And you can adjust this why it's best to use liquid glue so you can adjust it if you need be. And I will show you after a while once I get it situated how I want it. Okay, so this is how it looks on the inside. You see, let me see. You see how those two flaps are in between the score line. Like I said, you don't want it on. You want the flaps in between. And here is another one. See, I have it in between the score line. And this one as well is in between. So I'm going to give it a few more seconds to dry. Okay, it has finished drying. So once it dries, you should be able to push it flat. So it, once, you, um, once it dries, you should be able to, to push it flat and reopen it. And it should look, look like this. So you should be able to flatten it and reopen it. Okay, so this is your, so your vase part is complete. We are ready to add the flowers. So with the flowers, you are ready to stamp. So um, here are the stamps. These are the stamps. And I have already have stamped, I have already stamped them on the cardstock. And I stamp, you would need 14. If you want your vase to be full 
with flowers, you would need 14 because these are 14 and I have four extra pieces of the greenery to go in the vase. So you would need 14 flowers, 14 stems, and 14 um, greenery pieces to go in your vase if you want it to be full. Now it's up to you how much, you know, if you want it full, if you want it, you know, kind of um, skimpy, that's up to you how many flowers you want to add. So I already stamped them and I started coloring some. Uh, I'm going to color the purple ones on camera because I picked pink, purple, and yellow to coordinate with the with the panels so let me start with the purple and these are my uh, spectrum noir duo color uh, I'll be using the dusty purple and the wisteria I'm starting with the dark dark color first So just to give you like a view of how I'm coloring the flowers. I'm still learning how to color. My flowers, I need to take, uh, I will be taking like the, because I did order the Academy of Color. Um, from Crafters Companion, so I will be taking those academy classes because I do want to better my coloring skills. Just a little side note. And I stamped three different flowers that's included in the kit. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the light color. And just fill that in and I'll go back with the darker color. That's what I say, do, your, do all your stamping and do all your coloring to make it easier for you when you're making these. You know, if you have this craft kit. Okay, so I'm gonna finish color in the purple, the purple flowers and I will finish the yellow flowers off camera and I would die cut the flowers out and then I'll come back with the next step I'm not trying to make this video too long because there's a lot of steps you know to this to this kit but once you get everything done at one time it's not you know it doesn't take long at all So I think I'm going to prep these ahead of time for um, for different um, occasions. Like I said, Mother's Day, even Easter. You make these for Easter or spring, birthday. So I'm just going in and filling in with the the dark color just adding a little something 
Yeah, so this is how you color in your flowers. Use whatever markers or pencil colors you have. So yeah, this is the purple and that's the pink. And I'm gonna go in and do the yellow ones. And I will die cut the flowers and I will be back with the next step. Okay, I have cut out my flowers and I've used the assorted pearls to put in the center of the flowers. So all together I have 11 flowers and I die cut it the stems and the, uh, the rest of the greenery to fill in when I get ready to adhere it to the vase. So I have one more flower to attach. I wanted to show you that before I start to attach it to the vase. So I'm just going to add some glue to the stem here. And everything you see here is included in the kit. And you have the die cuts that match the stamp, so you don't have to worry about uh, fussy cutting any flowers. You get the uh, coordinating uh, die cuts to go along with the stamp. So, okay, so I have all of my flowers, and they are attached to the stems, and I have embellished it with the pearls. As you can see, they are so cute. Let me give you a close up on this pink one here that's why i said i did the coloring you saw that so now i am ready to show you how to attach them to the vase so what i do is i start from this part here i attach two on both sides I attached two on the opposite side. So you attach it on this side and you're going to attach it on the opposite side. And then the, the remaining flowers will go, go around the perimeter of the vase and that will fill in any gaps. And the greenery also will fill in any spaces you have. So I'm just going to start it off and then I will do the rest off camera and I will show you the end result of how it looks uh, with the flowers and the greenery. Now, I suggest you use liquid glue because since you will be flattening the vase and, and the pop-up, you want something that's going to stick to your vase. Because if you use the tape runner, the tape runner will... Um, your flowers will come off with the tape runner because I've tried that. I used the tape runner at first and I learned that once I flatten it and pop it up, the flowers fall off. So I suggest you use your liquid glue if you want a more permanent um, fix on your flowers. So I'm just going to add a little glue to the bottom of the stem. Not all the way, just a little bit. And I'm going to attach it right here on this side. Well, I guess it's actually up to you where you want to put your flowers. How you want them to um, put them in the vase. So I'm just going to press down and make sure it sticks. And then you have your first flower. Now, if you want, you can do the flowers, all the flowers first, and then add your little greenery part. Or you can do, you know, do a flower and then do your greenery. And that's what I normally do. Because you may not be able to go back in to fill it in once you put your flowers. Okay, so I put... A greenery piece here and just hold it for a few seconds and you can come underneath the vase and just hold it like that 
and then you have that and I'm going to do one more so like I said I think I said it differently before so it's up to you what side you can use you can come from the inside on that side and add flowers or you can say for uh, instance I have this flower going for this way and I can have one going the opposite direction so I can probably put one on this side instead so let's do that I'm going to put a purple one so I'm going to turn my vase this way and I'm going to add a purple flower so the flower can face the opposite direction and I'm going to do the same and then after this one I'm going to do the rest off camera and I guess you can um, also be sure that it is not too high because you do want it to fit in your envelope too so you just hold that there and then I'm going to add a greenery piece to that side and just press and hold it and you can kind of like you know alternate it how you want it and that's how it's looking and then you go to the other side and it's like that now this side you have the other flowers blocking so you really won't be able to see that so let me continue and I will show you the end result after I finish adding the flowers and the greenery okay I am back and I have added all the flowers and the greenery and this is how it looks added the little uh, greenery to fill in the little spaces and you can continue if you want and like I said it's up to you how full you want your vase and uh, you can flatten it so when you flatten it this is how it looks so the only thing left I have to do is add my sentiment and my bow and you want to find the side you want to put it on so I think I'm gonna put it on this side so I'm going to flatten it out and I'm going to add my sentiment first which says smile so I'm going to add some glue and I'm going to attach it right here and I'm going to attach my bow so in the kit you will get ribbon uh, to use for your projects and this is the pink one that came from it and I'm and I made like a little bow and I'm going to add that to my sentiment I'm going to press that down for a few seconds. And that's how that looks. And then when you pop it up, it's there on your face. And then you flatten it out. It's like that. Pop it up you have it like this and then once again you flatten it out and you have your pop-up vase with your flowers so let me bring in my sample this is the first one I made and this is 
the one I just finished making. And that's it. And that's all to it on how to make your pop-up vase. Once you get it going, you can make tons of these. So let me just show you. This is from the um, box number 57, Crafters Companion uh, subscription box, craft kit, pop-up vase for February 2023. And this is it. How cute. As I was going to say, you can make tons of these and... Make them for Mother's Day, make them for Easter, what show you how it goes in the envelope because you get a gusset envelope. As you can see, it expands so it can fit the pop-up vase. So let me show you that. Let me let that continue to dry. I'm gonna use my sample one to show you. So once you flatten it out, you can just um stick it in your gusset. gusset envelope and it fits fix perfect and that's it and thank you so much for joining me if you do have this uh, subscription box I wanted to give you an idea of how to put it together that's why I say if you come up with different ideas you can add to it take away what have you the possibilities are endless like i said before you can add like a sentiment on the back as well if you want and that's it thank you so much for joining me please like comment and subscribe and until next time bye Thank you.